Okay, I always say these are going to be a two-minute review, and they never are, but let's see what we get. <laughs> Welcome back. Today, we're going to take a quick look at this WOW Stick 1P Plus Precision Screwdriver 23-in-1. Uh, it's basically, it's just an electric screwdriver, but um, for more small and precise stuff, like precise electronics, or so I'm told. I'm not sure. I've never had one before, so you're going to see it the first time with me. In the box, uh, I believe this is a degausser. Uh, it says, yeah, demagnetize and magnetize, so uh, just a magnet and a degausser. Holy smokes, packaging. Comes crazy packaged. I think they're trying to be kind of Apple-esque. Everybody tries to do that now, and all they end up doing is just wasting packaging, to be honest. It is nice to get neat things, but I am a base. It is just a weighted base by the feel of it. Some instructions. I'm probably going to need these. Harmful substances. Nah. Okay, right, forget it. What do we got? I'm bits with group X0. I'm dual power screwdriver. Well, that's what I want. I want a screwdriver. Let's see. What do we got? So, this. Okay. It just takes. What do we got? Triple A's? I'm guessing. It actually looks like double A's. And then a bit set. So I think we'll have to revisit this later after I've used it for a while. And truthfully, I don't tend to use them anymore. Now that I got this, this was my Walmart find. You guys saw in a mailbag ages ago. And now I have, uh, I went back and bought more of these. I have one in the garage, one here. I gave one to my father. And then I have, uh, I think I still have one in the, in the box. But... I like what this comes with with bits. Tri-wing bits. Interesting. Alright. That's kind of a neat little holder. Actually, I kind of like that. Alright, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why I like this. This is why I like this. This is the drawer directly beneath here. And this is where all the screwdrivers live. Including bits. And this is completely out of control. Here's some bits over here. Here's a previous electric screwdriver that really sucks. But bit set here. And what I'm thinking, this actually, like, I can just grab that and know that that's where the bits are. I, I kind of like that holder idea. Hmm. Well, again, time will tell. We'll have to try things out. This winter I have a surplus of things to fix. As, uh, as you guys know, I've been spending a lot of time working outside and uh, working on different projects. So some of the electronic stuff is, is falling behind. So I'm going to see if I can find some batteries. One sec. Go to the bin. Somewhere in here. There's some trip ways. Dollar store, nothing but the best. Okay, what do we got? Positive down, I'm assuming. And that just oh, on camera, Eric. Threads in. Okay, it works. Wow, it's quiet. <laughs> Get it? Wow stick? Wow. Oh, I'm here all night, folks. Okay, it's incredibly easy to stall. Yeah, uh, there's almost no power there. But that could be the intention. I like the form factor. Now, Unlike cell phones and stuff, you wouldn't want any power there. And I think that's what this is marketed for, is for really fine stuff. Not uh, not, not the stuff that you're going to use one of these for. So, I, I, again, time will tell. 
Um, here, let's see. Do we have anything? Here's a dosimeter. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, they're even labeled on here. Well, it's probably faster to just find it myself than to read the label. Okay, so, yeah, back is back. At least that's intuitive. And, okay. Okay. Huh. I like it. It has no power whatsoever. You have to break it free yourself. But it, it zings those little screws out quite quickly. Let's see how it does putting them in. Okay, the no power thing is is a benefit on the way in because I don't want them screaming tight. There's no need for that. Huh. Okay, I like it. Now, let's see. That one was tight going in because I had run these all down all the way. And it just got a little... There must have been a little load on that. So let's see if it can take it out. No problem. Okay. For really fine work. Hmm. Again, it's way too early to say. But I kind of like it. I think this thing might have a place on my bench. We'll see how it does long term and whether what the battery life and stuff is. It is it could it could definitely use a bit more power. That is a little bit weak. But again, yeah. Got a I gotta temper our expectations a little bit. Anyway, that's the wow stick. 1P plus. I'll put a link down below. Um yeah, overall, I think uh, I think time will tell. <laughs> we'll see. I'll uh you guys will see it on live streams and stuff this winter, I'm sure. Um as we move into the fall, I'm sure I'll be doing more projects in here and we'll see how it goes. Throw a thumbs up if you like uh, like seeing these kind of videos, and I'll see you guys uh, see you guys in a few days. Cheers.